Hey folks, welcome back to Crazy Gamer Models. How's everybody doing? This is going to be a new type of format video for Fridays coming up, trying to do this schedule thing. Um, so Fridays is going to be a week in review, and what a week has been for the Crazy Gamer Models team. Well, the team's just me and my family, but we do stuff together. We build models together. First off, I want to give a huge shout out to my son. He's 11 years old, and he built his first model. It's not painted, but it is built. It's missing one road wheel, but, you know, that's okay. Um, he built this all by himself. I didn't help him at all. It's a Tamiya Abrams um, M M1A2, maybe. Um, I can't think, I don't have the box near me, but he built this all by himself with no help, 11 years old, it's his first model he's ever done, I gave him this to me a kit, and he just went to town, he finished this up on um, Friday of last week, so I'm including it in this week in review, so, there you go, check it out, he did this, I'm so proud of him, you know, I was surprised, he knocked it out, he was excited to do it, okay, so, week in review, what is that? So everything that takes place on Friday till the next Friday is going to be reviewed in the week in review. Like what what was put up on the channel, what I was working on that's going to come up in the future. Um, any new stuff I got that may become a review and things like that. So that's what this week in review is. But let's take a look at this massive blob of black caps on the table. I, we had a hurricane, so I'm a little behind on this, but I'm getting caught back up. I was using MIG paint, and if you look at this right here, bring this light in here, if you look at this, it's got orange peeling on it like crazy, the back's not so bad. But some of the pieces are horrendous. Some of these pieces are horrendous, like this one. This one is just awful. Um, I know I was spraying at the wrong PSI and all this stuff, so I it was rec you know after reading a lot of recommended recommendations and trying different things, I am going to move away from the mink paints. I'm still going to use their their enamel washes and stuff. I like those. They're they're great stuff, but I don't love these big paints. They don't brush or anything. I will use them on the tools because I think they have great tool colors. But for the interior of the tanks and the exterior of the tanks, I think uh, my switch to Mission Model paints is going to be the way to go. So I have got a collection of Mission Model paints. I looked up what I needed for my Yag Tiger, my Panthers, and um, the couple planes that I might end up doing. And I got all the colors in here. Here are the colors right here. It's a lot of colors. Um, I even got some to try some camo schemes because I got some camo stencils coming. So that's what's coming up. I got um, the Mission Model Stinner. I got the, the Mission Models Additive. I got their three different primers. I got a gray primer, a white primer, and a black primer. I don't, yeah, gray primer. I think this is going to be a black. No. Well, there's a black primer in here somewhere. So, but I got some burnt metal metallic iron. I got some rolled steel. I got some colors. So I'm going to go over these in a, in, a, in, a, in a review video. They come out on Tuesdays and Thursdays. Um, the Ag Tiger and the Panther A late, they will show up on the weekends. I'm not sure in what order yet. I'm hoping Saturday will be the Ag Tiger and Sunday will be the Panther late. You know, if not, I'll put something else up if there's no progress made. But um, other progress made on the Panther late is I painted the drive shaft there. Um, I'm making a lot of corrections to the errors I made before. But another big thing that happened while I was 
waiting the impending storm. I stripped the top of the Berg Panther, and I am ready to do some work on it. So, that'll be in a future Tuesday or Thursday video, or if I can't get one up on Saturday or Sunday. So, with the schedule, you guys will know what's coming. Wednesday is going to be my building techniques video. Currently, it's being done on a Tiger One. Um, I'm working on some clear parts on the Tiger One. Um, some of the Wednesday videos will be building techniques um, on the Tiger One, but it'll be it won't be building of the Tiger. Um, building of the Tiger step by step and showing everything I do involved that got lost after episode one. I lost footage for episode two. Then episode two came out. It just this kit the kit was was complicated, um, and it's not conducive to a um, step by step build. But as I do things like make grab bars or get scratches out of clear parts, things like that, I will make a video on that and then show the progress of the build so far. Like in the in the next part, not the next part you're gonna see, but the next part I'm gonna make. I'll be working with some clear parts, and I'll be showing you some tricks and tips that I use on this. Now, none of, nothing I do is professional. I don't claim to be a professional. I don't claim to be any good at all. I just do this for me to do this. So if you guys like the video, you watch it, you like it. If you don't like the video, just don't watch my channel. I don't, it doesn't hurt me anyway. But if you have some tips on how I can improve... Hey, I'm always looking for improvement. I, I, I'm a big fan of learning new things, and I always want to improve on my skill. As long as it doesn't cost a fortune, because I just got a bunch of paint. So, <laughs> I don't have any money <laughs> after all this, this fiasco of paint here. So, um, I got some um, new shelves for my Vallejo model color. I'm trying to find a shelf for my mission models paints um, I got a cool tool review coming in that I think um, you uh, rotary tool guys are gonna find very interesting coming up next week but I'll talk about that more on Monday in the in the what's coming up next week um, so this is gonna do it for this video it's gonna be a short weekend review I'm um, waiting for the hurricane not much happened the only last thing that happened was I painted a bunch of these ammo bags for my Panther Late. Spent, you know, time doing that, trying to find the right color. Um, I'm happy with one or two of them. But it is what it is, and they're going to be used the way they're going to be used. Um, I stopped going for historical accuracy on this when I messed up some other things. But I have tons of Panthers to do that on, and... Um, I will get that correct. Also, this week, a thing has arrived. Da da da, da da da. What has arrived? Boom! Wow, I can't even fit it on here, guys. Just slide some stuff up here. Ah. Uh. Boom. I got this review of this Panther off G late production with IR and air defense artwork coming up. You know how much I love my Panthers? Now it's protected from the air. I doubt it worked, but <laughs> it's protected from the air. It does have a full interior. Um, it, is a, it is a new model is what, I, what I'm, I'm under my understanding. It's a new model. I believe it's kit 21... 21, yep, 2121 is the kit. Um, let me see some pictures here. You know, basic basic interior of a Panther. Wow, this one is all red oxide inside. None of the um none of the, the, the white. The white interior. That's that's weird. I wonder if that's accurate. We're gonna have to take a look. I wonder what year this was produced in. Uh, April 45. These are April 45 tanks. So they are very, very late war. 
So I need, let's take a quick peek at this. I'm not doing this review right now. This is going to be a later thing. I know some people don't like looking at the sprues, but I like to go over the sprues and have a record of what I saw. So if I go back and I lost something, I can go back and see what it looks like. So, like I said, if you don't like it, don't watch it. So, that's going to be it for this um, weekend review channel thing that's going to happen on Fridays. I'm going to show you some cool stuff that I did, some stuff that, you know, I'm working on. And basically, it's part of the new schedule. Fridays will be weekend review. Saturdays and Sundays will be whatever build projects that are going on. Monday's channel update. Tuesdays and Thursdays, tools and kit reviews. And Wednesday is the building techniques series. All this is subject to change. Officially, it will start Monday. Um, it's August 6, 2019. So, uh, so Monday the 9th is when it's officially going to start. Of August 2019 will be the schedule, you know, barring injury, sickness, and hardship. It will, it will go on from there. Um, oh, and I also acquired some Peak Soap, so stay tuned to see if this stuff even works. There's no instructions on it. <laughs> it just says it's a brush cleaner. It's fantastic. But I tried it. It cleaned the brush. You know, I use, normally use the Masters. I normally use the Masters Cleaner and Preserver, and this stuff works fantastic. I love this stuff. But... They had a sale um, at Michael's yesterday, and you buy one art thing, and you get one free, and all I really wanted was this odorless paint thinners, some mineral spirits, because I was using some terps, and it's just, it, I was, it was recommended to me that that's too harsh, so I got some of this odorless mineral spirits right here, and then I got this pink soap for free, so I want to check this out and see if it's any good. I, I messed around with this brush right here that's super old and super dirty, but I really couldn't tell the difference if it's doing anything. So if I see that it's starting to work really well or really bad or whatever, I'll do a quick review on it and we check it out. Oh, listen, one more thing, guys. Um, my Patreon is, is set up a little bit more friendly. There's two tiers. There's a dollar tier, which gets you access to all the early release videos of my tool reviews. If I review a tool, it will be on Patreon for um, X amount of days before it's released to the public on Patreon. And if you do $5 or more, um, in all your, and you get five entries per month that you pledge into the giveaways. So, you know, there's a giveaway for some MIG products coming up. There's a giveaway for for a uh, hobby grab bag stuff. And then there's a giveaway for a Yagd Panther towards the end of the Yagd Tiger build. Um, so, and there's also going to be more giveaways. But if you do the $5 pledge, um, every month you'll get five entries plus the early access to the tool review videos. And then if you just pledge a dollar, you get early access to all the tool review videos. Um, normally, it would be five five to seven days early access on it, and then it'll go. I'll put it up on YouTube. So, and there will be tool reviews coming up. There'll be, there's already one up there now that's only up there for um, Patreons that will be available on Tuesday. So, that's going to do it for... Um, me and Crazy Gamer Models, you guys have a fantastic day.